So now that we got our shoulder pad created, how can we use nano mesh planes to dictate where this shoulder pad can go and then maybe edit that shoulder pad in real time? So what we can do is we can go in here to BI brush insert IMM primitives H. In here in 2021, you have a single poly in there that you can click on. And we have X symmetry turned on for this object. So if I go up here to the shoulder and just drag out poly planes, you're going to see I have two poly planes where shoulder pads are. Now, just like when we had the star earlier, these are still connected to the shoulder pad. So let's go over here to split, unmask points, and then we'll go select these poly planes here, and let's go ahead and turn off dynamic. Now, because I had dynamic turned on, these planes got really big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit W, and I'm going to turn on LSIM so we can scale these locally. If I don't have LSIM turned on, it's just going to kind of scale towards the middle of the world and away from the middle of the world. But turning on LSIM turns on that local axis. So here's where I can use these planes to dictate where my shoulder pads are going to go. However, my shoulder pad, again, is sitting in the middle of the world. But what I can do is, with the shoulder pad showing, let's go ahead and rotate it so it's... Um, using our gizmo a little bit. You can go with unmesh center right here, hold down shift and snap it to the side, and then just rotate it so it's kind of towards me as a, the, where the camera is. I'm gonna hit B and then snap to the front. B, create insert mesh, new, and that again created an insert mesh brush. And I can go through here and insert shoulder pads. However, if you remember from the nano mesh video, what I wanna do is go up here to brush, create, nano mesh brush. So I have an insert mesh brush. If I hit B, it's created a new insert mesh brush. But now what I want to do, I can also do this. I can hit B, create nano mesh brush with that one selected, or with that one selected, go up here to brush, create nano mesh brush. So now what I can do, let's go out of solo mode. Let's go down here to where these planes are. Let's turn on their visibility so we can see them. So we have some planes sitting there, and we have our new nano mesh brush with our shoulder pad on it. So we can go through here, and we can drag out that shoulder pad. Now you're going to see this one's a little bit weird, and this one actually looks kind of upside down. So what we need to do is go to our nano mesh properties here. And what you're going to want to do when you're using this method, I'm going to show you two ways to do this. There's the documentation way. There's this way, which is a little more manual, but you kind of get a little more acclimated to nano mesh. And then there's a macro way, which is going to be much, much faster. But for this manual way, we're going to go over here to our Z rotation. We're going to type in negative 90. So now our shoulder pad is face the, same, face the correct way. However, on this side, it's not. What I'm going to need to do is turn off X, which is going to, or tap X on my keyboard, which is going to turn off symmetry in the X direction. Hover over this face with our Z modeler brush, BZM. Hold down spacebar, and we're going to spin edges on that single poly. So as I go through here, I can spin those edges until now the shoulder pad is facing the same way on both sides. We can go ahead and turn X symmetry back on if we want to. This original shoulder pad in the middle here, that big one in the middle, we don't even need that anymore. We can just take that one here, and we can just hit delete. So now we have shoulder pads here that are now completely nano mesh. And if we turn on polyframe, you're going to see we have a plane here, but this is all the nano meshes here are just gray or whatever material you have selected. In my case, matcap gray. Remember, this plane is what's driving this polygon. We can't sculpt on this polygon as is. It's just sitting, it's just being generated by that plane. It's an instance. Uh, if we don't want to see the plane, we can turn off show instances or show placement, and then I'll get rid of uh, that polyplane. But we'll go ahead and leave that on for now so we can kind of stay grounded in our nano mesh world. So now, what if we want to edit these shoulder pads? Well, go in here to edit mesh, and now you're going to see we're going to go immediately into split screen mode. And another new addition to 2021, split screen is right here. It's also up here in your transform menu under transform split screen. Uh, but right now it's set to split screen of one. You can set it split screen of two, which is top and bottom, three, left and right, and then bottom and top. But we'll go ahead and keep this at one for now. And zero is to turn it off, obviously. So right now we have our shoulder pad instance over here, and we have this shoulder pad in here, which we can start editing. Now, I do have dynamic turned on for this. You're gonna see dynamic is in here. The one thing that isn't gonna transfer out is dynamic. But what we can do is we can go in here and we can say apply. As soon as we make this real geometry, it will update over here. In fact, almost anything we do in here now is going to update over there. Uh, for example, we've made this real geometry. Let's go in here to geometry dynamesh and just turn off blur, maybe keep the resolution at 128. We'll hit no. We don't want to go into free subdivision mode. And now this is a dynamesh mesh. So we can go through here. We have X symmetry turned on. I'm going to go into my trim dynamic brush. And we can go ahead and just like bevel some edges around here. 
So as we're sculpting, it's updating over here. Now if those polyplanes are bugging you, those placement planes, again, just go down here to nano mesh and say, turn off show placement. So now we just have these shoulders. So really quickly, again, we have X symmetry turned on. I'm gonna go through here and we'll give them some pretty mean looking shoulder pads. We'll go in here with our Damien standard brush, maybe cut in some cheekbones, maybe cut in some teeth down the bottom here, maybe go into our clay brush. Now when you're working on a very thin mesh, if you go in here with like your clay tubes, your clay buildup, and you start sculpting, it's gonna wanna pull through. Make sure you go in here to brush, which we have docked over here, auto masking, turn on back face mask, and now when you use those brushes, uh, it won't go through to the back side. So again, we go through here, and as we're sculpting, you're gonna see it's updating over here on the fly. So we're over here sculpting here, you can move this stuff around, and as we look over here, it's automatically updating. We can even go in here, let's go hit the comma key, brush, insert IMM, dragon bones. Maybe you can hit M and grab a horn or just grab a horn out of this top part here. And then we can go through here and we can drag in dragon horns. So now if we place these dragon horns like up here, you may think over here, boy, that's a cool looking shape. However, when you go and evaluate them, you're gonna see, oh no. <laughs> He's, he's gonna have a hard time moving his head while he's wearing these shoulder pads. So you can start immediately making design decisions based on, you know what, that's not gonna work. Let's swing these around here. Maybe scale them down just a little bit. There you go. So now these horns will be a little bit more compatible with the overall design. Uh, of course, I can control drag, control drag again. Since this is Dynamesh, we can just Dynamesh those horns right in here. And now we have updated shoulder pads here. So let's go ahead and smooth those out here. Now. Let's say, you know what? Those shoulder pads aren't really placed on his body exactly where they should be. No problem. Go out of Edit Mesh here. You can hit W and you can go through and just modify these things. You can scale them here. You can rotate them around. You can reposition them. And then when you're happy with that, you can go back in here to your Nano Mesh. Go back in here to Edit Mesh and then just continue sculpting. So we can go back in here. Maybe put in a big medallion or something. And again, it's just gonna update on the fly. Now, if we go out of Edit Mesh and we turn on Show Placement again, again, we just have these polyplanes here. So if we want, we can hit W, we have X symmetry turned on. We can control out drag a copy of that plane. We can go through here and we can position it like on the elbow if we want. So we can use these as elbow pads too. Now, here's something that's gonna happen is if we scale these down, they're all gonna wanna scale. To avoid that, go over here and take it from Proportional and say Fit. Now, it's gonna kind of bork some of your settings, not a big deal. Just go over here to your rotation and change this to 90 degrees. And now you're gonna see, okay, everything's back to normal. And we can go over here, we can, we can increase the overall scale for all of these and be like, okay, these are all scaled correctly. But the cool thing is, so now these planes here are masks. Whenever we drag out a new copy, you're gonna see it's gonna mask the original plane and then this new plane will be unmasked. And if that's confusing, like I'm, I'm trying to see these planes, but I can't, you can turn off show instances and now you can just see the planes. So now you can see we have these unmasked planes, these mask planes. So we turn on our show instances again. As we scale this one down, this one will scale along with the face and this one will stay the same size. So now we can have the same instance, two different scales. Let's turn off show placement. So now we can use this as an elbow pad. We can control drag this one out. We can use this as a knee pad. We'll just rotate these things around. Put these on the knees here. And in fact, because we have fit turned here, if we turn on that show placement again, if we scale these planes this way, it'll actually scale those instances longwise. And we can go in here and change the width. So even though we can edit one mesh, we can have, say, the elbow pads. We can go on control drag, and we're gonna say control alt and unmask these elbow pads now. So just these are unmasked here. Let's go ahead and say, we can scale these ones this way or scale these ones long ways. We'll go ahead and leave these original shoulder pads alone. So now when I go in here, so go out of solo mode here, and now when we go in here to edit mesh, and we'll turn off show placement here. Now when I go in here to like uh, B, S, H for a snake hook brush or whatever, we can go through here and we can pull out more stuff and you're gonna see they're all gonna update on the fly. Now, if you're ever in here and you're like working on like 70 instances and you got a million polygons over here, uh, while you're sculpting, it may feel a little bit sluggish because it's having to update quite a bit of stuff on the fly. What you can do is you can actually turn off 
show instances, and then while you're working, uh, it'll work nice and fast. You can go through here and you can sculpt, um, and it should work uh, pretty well. And then when you're done, you can turn on show play or show instances again, and then they'll go ahead and turn back on for you. So that's the basics of this method. Uh, in the next video, we're going to go over a much, much faster method now that you're acclimated to Nanomesh and how to do things manually. We'll give you a much cleaner, easier way to do this.